Czech company Respilon in Brno makes surgical masks. It supplies companies across the EU and even in North and South America. Respilon's corridors are now piled high with boxes. Since the COVID-19 outbreak, business is booming. Demand has increased more than tenfold. But the company normally supplies China with the raw materials for its masks. So-called nanofiber membranes made in the Czech Republic. They are then assembled at Chinese sites. However, China has now banned the export of surgical masks to Europe. The supply chain has broken down. Chief Executive Roman Seema sees a bottleneck developing rapidly. For us it's a big complication, yeah, because we had there a lot of stock, but it's absolutely understandable that China needs a help right now. So they actually are using our uh, facilities for producing their own, uh, or actually masks for their own use. All the pharmacies we checked up on while making this report said they'd already sold out of masks. <laughs> At Rostock's University Hospital, surgical masks are a way of life. But it's generally accepted here that no mask offers 100% protection against the new coronavirus, even if they can be helpful. Shortages are developing here as well. Smaller hospitals in the area that we assist signalled last week that they can't get protective masks and face huge problems. The university hospital's specialised supplier guaranteed that we'd have no problems for the next half year. How they'll manage that, I don't know. They see it differently. But across Germany, people are already wondering how to deal with the scarcity. In an emergency, a mask may even have to be used twice. And in the Czech Republic, Respilon is working on getting a new type of mask to market in the near future. For that, Roma Zima plans to relocate production and bring it back home. There are actually three big production facilities in Europe for face masks. But from the strategic point of view, it's not enough. Yeah? That's why our company actually builds right now a new line uh, that we want to start. Uh, actually, the production will start at the end of May. An estimated 70% of the world's masks are made in China. There is now a very real danger that Europe could run right out of surgical masks for several months.